it wasn't like something just dropped out of the sky. I mean, this, there's been an ongoing investigation, and uh, uh, today it culminated in his arrest for murder. Charges finally filed in a 2010 disappearance. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Nearly seven years ago, Peru State College student Tyler Thomas disappeared. Today, the man long considered the prime suspect was charged with her murder. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Cousins has more in tonight's top story. Nicole? That's right, Rod and Megan. That suspect is 36-year-old Joshua Kedel. He's currently in jail after being convicted of sexually assaulting a 15-year-old, and he owes Tyler's family $2.6 billion after losing a civil lawsuit. Now he'll go to court facing first-degree murder. Murder charges finally filed in the 2010 disappearance and suspected death of Peru State College student 19-year-old Tyler Thomas. It's very good for the family and uh, and hopefully they will now get a, some, a measure of justice. Nearly seven years later, a complaint made by the state of Nebraska charges now 36-year-old Joshua Kedel of first-degree murder. Tyler's family attorney, Vince Powers, says he thinks the evidence has always been there, but because Kedel is serving time for a sexual assault charge that stemmed from Thomas' disappearance, it gave investigators more time to build a concrete case. Kedel's in prison, so uh, he wasn't going anywhere and that allowed the uh, authorities to investigate. And Kedel was long a person of interest in Ty's disappearance, even while he interviewed with the media a week after she'd gone missing. Just walking along. The uh, only reason I really noticed her, because you see students walking back and forth quite a bit. It's, she didn't have a jacket on. It was pretty cold that night. But in a 2010 court affidavit, Kedel said he and Thomas had sex the night she disappeared. Her body never found. He eventually left her on a boat dock near the Missouri River. I found Joshua Kedel to be a terrible human being. There's nothing interesting about him. There's nothing good about him. Nothing at all. For the better part of a decade, Tyler's family has fought through a slew of civil court cases, buying time for criminal charges to finally come to fruition. No parent should ever have to, to bury a child. Uh, no parent should ever have to leave their child at a college dorm and drive away and never, never see them again. And it's, uh, it's been terrible and it's a hole in their heart that will not be filled. The Attorney General's office will parse persecute this case. A court date, though, has not yet been set. Nicole Cousins in our top story tonight. Thank you.